Okay, what's up everybody? This is Kate over here, Steve here, back with part four of your how to speed up your computer series thing. And today we're gonna be talking about hardware maintenance. Now this can be slightly dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. But you should be okay. Just number one rule. Actually, well, one and a half rules. Number one, always touch the inside of your case when you're handling your parts. Because if you don't, then what's going to happen is static electricity is going to jump off of you. It's going to fry everything and you're just going to be sad. You're going to be out tons of money. Unless your thing was a piece of crap when you bought it. So, yeah. And number two is... There's a part in your computer called your heat sink. Don't take that off unless you have special paste. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to be starting off with dusting the inside of our computer. And this is good so that way, you know, nothing gets too hot and then overheats and then it's going to melt. And you're going to be sad because you can't really fix that unless you buy new crap, which is kind of expensive if you, if you want some good stuff. Unless you're old, and you can wait for 50 hours for your computer to load up. But anyway, to dust the inside of your computer, step one would be to remove, or get inside your case. Now, each case is probably going to be different, but with mine, all you got to do whoopsies, is remove a screw, which I already did, and pull, and then bam, we're inside my baby. I'm going to actually lower this. You don't get to see my face. It's too awesome for the internet. Okay. Now. Y'all. So the first thing I like to do is dust the fans. Now, as far as I know, the only computer case, or the only fan in my computer case is the fan right here. This fan right there. don't know if you can see it. And then the fan on the heat sink. And, where's my screwdriver? To dust these, it's really simple, okay? There's going to be four screws that attach it to your heat sink, depending on your heat sink. You might have two or whatever, I don't know. And then, there's going to be four screws attaching it to your case. Now, for the love of God, there's going to be a power cable attached to your fan that's plugged into your motherboard. Make sure, whoa, sideways video. Make sure you unplug that before you take out your fan. Otherwise, you might cause problems, and then you have a broken fan. And that's not really expensive, but it's a pain, because then your computer will get really hot, and blah, 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 blah. So make sure you unplug the power. It's just really simple. You just very carefully pull in an upward direction, and it's unplugged, okay? And be right back when I take it out. Okay, so I just took out my fan, and... All you're going to want to do is you're going to see a bunch of dust all in there. I don't know if I can focus this. I guess not. Anyway. Okay. Oh, nope. That didn't help. Oh, kind of did. Anyway. So, when... It's really simple to clean these things. And it'll expand the life of them. But you see all this dust in here? You just got to kind of take a cloth or maybe your finger and then just gently wipe everything down. Okay? So, when I'm done with this, I'll be back. But one important note. When you go to put this back, make sure you put it back the way it was facing originally. Because what'll happen is that these fans blow air directionally, you know? And for this one, I believe it was sucking air in because all this dust was in here. So make sure you put it in the position you found it. Because then it wouldn't hurt the computer, but I don't want like hot air blowing out the back because then what's going to cool everything because I don't think I have a blower fan in here so just keep that okay so I don't know if you guys can see that but I took off all my fans cleaned them best I could now now what we're going to talk about for another speed boost is upgrading your memory so RAM or memory is pretty simple to do it looks like is this now 
As far as I know, these things probably won't break when you're installing them. Unless you, like, pound on them with a sludge hammer. Or you, like, shock them, you know. Ow! I'm not gonna get special effects. But it's really simple. So all you gotta do here is... Okay. Oh, I'm professionalism. I know, I'm terrible. Okay. So, as you can see, there's this little divot right there, okay? And then there's this itsy bitsy little divot right there, okay? So, when you're installing this thing, it can only go in one way. It's really simple to do. So, how do I want to do this here? Trap out. That's my crotch. You're welcome, ladies. Okay, so all you gotta do is line it up. Make sure the notch is where it should be. For I me, mean, it's right about there. Then you just want to apply pressure until you hear a click. It'll be really close so you can hear the click, hopefully. Ready? Hold on. <laughs> no clicky. It's in the right way. Oh, dust. Make sure you dust. Bam! Touch the outside. Actually, it's really dusty in there. Hold on. <laughs> I know. Unprofessional. Unprofessional. Oh well. I don't get paid for this. Okay. So. Ah! God, I hope this thing doesn't die. Shouldn't. So you just gotta line everything up where it should be. Get it in real close. Now you're really gonna have to press kind of hard. So, get that. Okay. One side is clicked in, as you can see. And then the other side. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just want you to click. Just get tricky. Click? No. Okay. Click. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys heard that. No, I took out two of these. So, I'm going to just repeat the process, which you guys should already know. You just got to line the slouch up, like so. Push. Bam. That's how you install new memory. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about here is upgrading your graphics. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so, next thing I'm going to talk about is upgrading your graphics card. Now, this is going to be different for some people, because some of you, you might have, like, power cables. This isn't the proper power cable. I don't know what the proper pay... I don't even know if I have another proper power cable. But anyway, you might have hard cables going to your graphics card. All you got to do is take it off. Now, mine is a crappy oldie, old video card. And it doesn't really have a power thing, so I don't have to worry about that. And when, when you're upgrading, you see these slats right here? They're called expansion slats. So, my video card only takes up one. But yours can take up, like, I've seen them take up to three, which I think is the maximum on my computer. One, yeah, three. So just keep that in mind. Whoa, what's this go to? It's just the cover. Weird. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Now you shouldn't have a problem with this, but make sure your motherboard's compatible. Your motherboard's a green thing down here. This whole green thing. Just saying. So yeah. So all you gotta do is gotta find the clasp, clasp that holds your video card in place. And I accidentally broke mine. I don't want to talk about it. So all you gotta do, is depending on your clasp, mine I'm pretty sure you just pull out. And you gotta pull up on the video card. So, um, right here, okay. Aha! And then, ever so carefully, lift it out. Okay, and that's the place where my video card goes. And this is my video card. So, it's... It's not okay. I can run Minecraft. But huh? so as you can see, it's got a little fan and stuff. See, 
this is what runs your games and stuff. The visuals and everything, okay? So, that's how you take out a graphics card. Now, when you're upgrading, all you gotta do is, if it's just number one, number one. You gotta take out your expansion slot, slots if you have more than one, okay? And then all you gotta do is, oopsies, yeah, that's right. Right? Doesn't seem right. But it is. Then all you gotta do is line the video card up with your slot, which I can't do at the moment. <laughs> oh. oh, telephone! I'm not gonna get that. Well, I probably should. But I'm not going to. Okay, so you just gotta line your video card up with your slot and give a firm press till you hear a good solid dunk or a click okay and then if you have power cables you gotta route to from your power supply you just gotta plug them in okay I lied there's a couple more steps you gotta do I know so I'm professional okay so when you're done you may need to reinstall your bracket that you took off, which I don't think I got that on video, but, you know, you just gotta remove a screw to lift it up, and what this is, is a, it's like a support for all your cards, so, yeah, so all you gotta do, and just, on, on the ship with the hoe, like show, oh, tit, and then you just screw it back on, and you should be good to go. Okay, I don't feel like putting the screw in. I feel like being a rebel. Okay. Next, next thing I'm going to be talking about is upgrading your hard drives here. So, don't ask me how this goes back in. I'll have to figure it out. But, upgrading your hard drives is another simple and quick, easy thing you can do to speed up your computer. Now, I'm assuming that most of you guys are going to have, like, a hard drive cage. Okay? So, if you excuse me a second, I gotta remove the hard drive from this. I'm gonna have to see it's getting dusty in my room. So, this is a hard drive. Okay? This is what all your crap goes on. Operating system, file, games, everything. Now, mine's pretty big. It's only like half full, one terabyte. <laughs> pretty. Pretty big. I mean, that could be bigger, but whatever. So, what you gotta do is, you see these holes? Right along here. Okay. What you gotta do is number one, make sure your hard drive is facing the right way. Mine would be like this. Then you slide it into okay. more of my crotch, just for you ladies. Okay. So we just slide your hard drive back into its cage. And those holes you were I was talking about, you would now depending on your hard drive cage, you might need not need screws, but for me I do. So you just gotta line up the holes and stick your screws in, okay? And then when you're done with that, you need two cables. One is for power, one's for data. Now it looks like this one's for the data. You're just going to want to plug this in, and it can only go one way, because it has a little itty-bitty notch. Oh my god, my hard drive's going to fall. And then, the power. Trust me, you won't mix these up. Okay. Since I'm so generous, I'm going to show you guys how to plug your cables back in once you got your hard drive remounted. Yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky, because I can't see. Okay, now, you can't really see it. I can barely see it. As it is. But... You just gotta line everything up. Sorry if I'm talking now. And okay, we're going to do this. Oh my god, it is so cramped in this thing here. Oh god, bad video quality. Oh god. Oh! Oh, I missed. I missed again. There we go. Good and secure, I hope. 
That's your data cable. And power. How many power cables do I have? And just one. That's what your power looks like. So. Come on. Hey. Oh God. Not what you want to see. You want to see my hand putting this thing in the hole. So, hold on, let me get it lined up, okay. Lined up. Hold on.